Victorina Hudson oh. getting out of my car oh. with my money. Oh. Life is not what you think it is behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Oh. Home girl is miserable. Mm -hmm. Like, uh -huh. oh. That's what you get. Jill, it looks like karma is not done with Sharina and Kevin just yet because they are down in them trenches. Now we all know that Kevin was recently sued for maxing out all of his credit cards and owing thousands of dollars to several banks. And as if that wasn't bad enough, Kevin was also forced to sell off their mansions and all their luxurious cars to pay for his debts after those alimony checks from Wendy stopped coming through. And just when we thought things couldn't get any worse for them, Sharina is now also being sued by TJ Maxx after she defaulted and paying up her $3,000 debt on her TJ Maxx card. Yeah, the amount that was chump change to them earlier is now becoming the reason for them getting sued. Things are not looking too good for Sharina and Kevin, and word on the street is, Wendy is currently off in Florida as Sharina and Kevin are scrolling rambling to sustain themselves financially. She thinks this is their karma for what they did to her and they deserve everything that they're going through. But before we get into this mess with Sharina, let me give y'all some context as to how things got this bad in the first place. This whole drama actually started back in 2019 when Wendy filed for divorce from Kevin. Not only was Kevin hooking up with Sharina while he was still married to Wendy, but he went on to have a whole baby with her. Now, according to Wendy, she knew he was having an affair, but what made her decide to divorce him was when she found out that he had a secret baby with Sharina, who he was fathering and not telling her. Not only did she dump him after this, but he was also fired as her manager. Don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager. And then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. In yeah. other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. Having this uh, side girl for almost 15 years of our marriage. I've known about her almost since the beginning. I've known that Kevin is a serial cheat. I, the first time I found out was while I was pregnant with our son on bed rest. During that time, I gave birth to him. He was in the delivery room. You'll see that play out in the movie. Uh, he's passing out cigars and, and you know, my wife and I, you know, little Kev, Kevin, who's not so little anymore. He's 20 years old. I plotted to divorce Kevin and, and I sacrificed a lot of myself to come out successful on the other side. What's even crazier about this is that while all this mess was going down, Sharina's own family members sided with Wendy and they slammed Sharina for wrecking Wendy's marriage. In fact, Sharina's uncle was asked what he thought about the entire situation and he had nothing good to say about Sharina. He said, she should know right from wrong. She left her home state of South Carolina years ago and hasn't returned to see her family. Even even on the holidays. Now this is where things started to get real bad for Wendy because as the divorce was going down, Wendy was also ordered to pay alimony to Kevin after their divorce, which became his main source of income. Sharina was living her best life and even opened up a bunch of businesses, which all failed terribly. Kevin even put her through school to be a massage therapist, opened a kiosk for her at a mall in North Carolina, and also helped her set up a jewelry and clothes clothing line called Vish. Kevin himself also opened a barber shop, which definitely failed miserably. And mind you, he was using Wendy's money to finance all these failed businesses. But even though all the businesses failed, they continued to live a very glamorous life on all of Wendy's money without having to work a single day. And if y'all know Wendy, then y'all know it was only a matter of time before she said something. I mean, if she can't stop them from wasting her money, she should at least be allowed to throw some shade, right? She said the reason why all Sharina's businesses failed was because she's not a smart girl and that she has no clue how to run a business. Uh, you know, less than smart women who uh, moved to the big city with bright lights, you know, and she wanted to be a model. And so you know how the girls with the sparkler champagne bottles at the club, 
they get people to spend more money. They dress scantily clad and things like that. But baby, Wendy wasn't done with them yet. When her show got canceled, she stopped sending over all them alimony checks. And as you can expect, this drove Kevin crazy. He was running out of money to fund the lavish lifestyle that he and Sharina had gotten used to. Things got so bad that he dragged Wendy to court for being behind on her alimony payments. He said the payments from Wendy were his only source of income and he had nothing left to keep himself afloat. In court documents obtained by the US Sun, he was quoted saying, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, foreclosure will soon follow. He also added, my car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have have no money since the severance payments were suspended. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiffs stopped making payments under our settlement agreement. Chow, this some clown ish right here. This man was living off of Wendy's money and didn't think to save a dime. He and Sharino really thought they hit the jackpot and that Wendy was just gonna keep throwing them checks forever. Anyway, the judge saw right through Kevin's mess and denied him that request. The judge said his request was not emotional urgent and ordered his application to be dismissed without prejudice. Now you might be wondering how Wendy was able to stop paying them alimony checks without any consequences. Well you see, Wendy put a clause in that alimony agreement and it said she was only to pay Kevin if she still had a show. And since the Wendy Williams show got canceled after she got sick, she ain't have to pay him a dime anymore. And if you're wondering if this means Wendy will be forced to pay Kevin, one once she starts working again. Well, she also specified in the documents that she can only pay Kevin if she's doing mainstream television. And if you look at her social media, you'll see she's gearing up to do podcasts. Things got so bad for Sharina and Kevin that they had to sell their house in Florida for 1.2 mil. Kevin also reportedly took out a loan from a company called Flex Wealth to pay for two luxury cars, which he'll now have to pay for. This backwards Barbie, uh, you know, he was tricking up money. She's in the passenger seat of my Rolls Royce Ferrari. And you know, I mean, really? He's also being sued by UBS Bank for failing to make payments on his credit card debts worth over five figures. But while we were out here thinking Kevin was the only one drowning in debts, it's now being revealed that Sharina has also been piling up debts of her own because she's now being sued by TJ Maxx and word on the street is there are more lawsuits on the way. Now my sister, Miss Chronicle Speaks, did her thing like she always does and spilled the tea about this when she posted a series of court documents revealing that Sharina was severely broke and that she owed over $3,000 on her TJ Maxx card. Per the court documents, she was due to pay this debt on March 27th of 2023 and she's defaulted in paying it until now. This amount used to be chump change to the both of them, but that stopped being the case when Wendy stopped paying them alimony checks. Now as for Wendy, her BFF Miss Jones AKA Jonesy from 947 The Beat recently revealed some new info about what Wendy has been up to lately. Now, if y'all remember, Miss Jones was actually the same woman who exposed Kevin for sending hitmen to unalive her because she was threatened by her relationship with Wendy. Now, child, that's a whole different topic for another day. But Miss Jones recently revealed that she went over to Wendy's house to check up on her since it has been a while since anybody's heard from her. And according to Ms. Jones, she found out from Wendy's doorman that she recently moved to Florida a few weeks ago with her son, Kevin Hunter Jr. So she can recover peacefully without Kevin and Sharina taunting her with their BS. Okay, so yesterday, Wayne made me go and visit Wendy Williams. <laughs> I made you go. Y'all all, everybody was in on it. You know it. I saw the dick because I kept saying, did you go, did you go, did you go? And I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Yeah. So I pull up, first I pulled up to the wrong building. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a minute. I know, yeah. I, like, and I had to walk, but it was okay. And so I get there, I go inside, the door people greet me and all that. And I said, this might be a shot in the dark, sir, but I'm here to visit Wendy. And he shakes his head and he goes, you're a couple of months late. Wow. She moved. Hmm. 
And I said, oh, and he goes, yeah, that's all I can tell you. So, you know, I start prying. I'm like, well, did they sell the unit? Is it on the market? Because this was a fabulous duplex. Mm -hmm. And the building she was living in, which now I can tell you guys, it was supposed to be a hotel originally. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit and they couldn't, obviously, no one was supposed to be in a hotel. So they sold it. And she told me how much she paid for it. And she, I was like, that was such a steal. It was beautiful. Two floor, three bedroom unit. So I thank you, sir. And then I go and I look for the the other people that, you know, live in the building, right. work in the building. Start and sleuthing. I, yep. <laughs> and I got my sleuth on. And they said, well, you know what happened? She was getting better. She was coming around. And then she started getting sick again. Mm. And because her family's in Florida. Right. And people were coming in her circle that they weren't familiar with. And they didn't know, like, you know, they mm -hmm. couldn't get access to her when they wanted. Mm -hmm. They moved her down to Florida. So she is allegedly down in Florida with her son recuperating. Okay. Yeah. Well, we wish her. We do the wish best. her well. Yeah. And Wendy, if you listening, you won. Did he go into jail for Easter? <laughs> it was true. Everything you said. I always believed. I always knew. You won. And Kev can't get your money neither. Wendy, the judge shut him down. You can stop now, Wendy. <laughs> the gig's off. And according to sources, Sharina's trifling self is blaming Wendy for her getting sued because she feels like if Wendy didn't pull back those alimony checks, she wouldn't be getting sued. Like, you can't make this up, y'all. Sharina has officially lost her mind. How do you shamelessly steal somebody's man, use her hard-earned money to start a bunch of failed businesses, and then turn around and blame her for making irresponsible financial decisions and getting sued? It's giving unhinged. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this mess and they did not hold back. One person said, the amazing thing about this is Wendy can come back and be on top as if she never left. Nobody's taken her place since she left the air in 2020. That's what I want her to understand. Taking the time off to heal. There's no need to rush the healing process in fear of what's being replaced because in my opinion, I don't see that happening. Another person said, you know, you're broke when you can't afford a $3,000 TJ Maxx bill. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Sharina confronting and blaming Wendy for her getting sued? And do y'all think this is really the end for Sharina and Kevin? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.